I'm going to technically show you how to drive a hill that has opposing holes in it. We call them wombat holes in Australia. Here at Mat Mat 4-Wheel Drive, I'm all about educating and building the four-wheel drive community. I'd love you to hit that subscribe button or subscribe to my Facebook page. Here you can see me walking up the piece of track we're going to use in this demonstration and how the holes are deep and opposite each other. Now let's watch a fairly typical drive that you're going to see out on the tracks, straight up the guts. Alright, so he's got through the first set of wombat holes, now he's got both wheels off the ground. So he turns a little bit to the left and right from the driver's perspective. Doesn't work, so he backs back down and has another crack. Same spot, wheel spinning, wheels off the ground, no joy. So he backs right to the bottom, faster, let's hook into it. Big wheel lift, nice work, same spot, wheels off the ground. So now he's going, what do I do? Well, I'll go faster, I'll do this left and right a bit pig root a bit, that's a good way to blow CVs, but nothing's working for him. Now, I'm going to come into shot and I'm going to show him this technique that I'm showing you in this video. I tell him to back up a little bit and come up the right hand wall and just crawl it and watch what happens. Up he comes, easy as that, not even a wheel spin. And that's the essence of this technique. Now let's watch the 80 series. I've got no diff locks engaged, so I'm just coming up here, I'm hugging that left hand wall, I'm crawling as slow as I can, so that's all about the traction and this technique, through the first set of wombat holes. And I'm crawling up, now I get to here, the second set of wombat holes, wheel spin. So I turn to the left, there's the wall, find a bit of traction in that wall, and she crawls up, there she goes, and we're through the second set. Now I look to the wall again, there's no traction there, so I turn to the right. There's the traction. Now I'm on the exact same path as the Pajero. Let's look at that close up. Look how little traction the tyre needs. Only the edge of it, but that made all the difference. Let's watch the Bandera come up. Short wheelbase, again, no diff locks. Hugging that right hand wall. She crawls through the first set, gives us the Bundy wave, comes up in and out, as easy as that. So next time you're out on the trails and you come across a situation like this where you've got opposing holes, well use those tricks of staying to the sides of the hole so that you can get traction. And I reckon you'll be amazed at how much more capable you are in your four wheel drive. I'm Mad Matt, stay safe on the trails.